Yo guys, what is up? It is Nate Egan from Egan Visuals here, and I'm here to bring you a new tutorial on how to do dolly zoom. So, uh, I got a lot of questions on social media, DMs, and YouTube about this. So, for uh, the abandoned factory video that I did a couple weeks ago, um, in the beginning I did this really kind of trippy zoom type thing, and people didn't know what it was. So, I'm going to show you what it looked like in the video, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so for this effect, this is usually an in-camera effect, which means that you do it, you know, while you're recording. It's not really a post-editing thing. Usually how it goes, it's um, you move in a certain direction back and, like, either forward or backwards, and then usually, like, zoom in the opposite direction, so it creates this, like, weird distortion where, like, the sides are moving, but then the background kind of stays the same. It, it, looks, it looks awesome. Uh, there's been a lot of older movies, and I think maybe newer movies have done this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it in the post-editing process. So what you want to do is you want to select the clip you have, and then depending on, well, first of all, you want to toggle animation, and depending on which way it's going, you, you know, like walking forward or backwards, is how you decide how you want to do this. So for this clip, it's moving backwards. So what we're going to do is... We're going to uh, take the scale and keep it the same, like 100 on the first one. And then we're going to go all the way to the end. Or like wherever, you like how long you want the dolly zoom to be. And then we're going to scale it up. So this number on the scale will change depending on how long the clip is. So for this, this might be like 130 or something. I usually do like 120 because I feel like 130 is too much. Uh, so as you can see, that looks pretty good. It's pretty, so yeah, if you change these numbers, you get like kind of different effects, so we'll do like 140. It kind of just makes like a more major, it makes it more obvious. Uh, if you, you know, if you put it to like 110, it'd be like a little bit more subtle. You can actually barely see it in that. Um, so like we do like 170, for example, you really see it. You see, yeah. So yeah, pretty much that's all you have to do. It's very simple. Um. If you guys have recommendations or questions for tutorials, please uh, comment them below or DM me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll get to them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good one.